Hello everyone, my name is Ben Hassin. I'm a second year medical student at Morehouse School of Medicine. My pronouns are he, him, his. And today I am going to be presenting to you all HPV anal cancer in black men, the role of at-home self-collection to decrease anal cancer disparities. HPV-associated anal cancer makes up approximately 2.5% of all cancers in the GI tract, and black men have disproportionately have had higher rates of incidence than white men. According to the National Program of Cancer Registries, the Sears STAT database sponsored by the CDC, black men have much higher incidence rates than white men when it comes to HPV-associated anal cancer. With black men, it's 1.7 individuals per 100,000 versus white men, which is 1.3 per 100,000 individuals. White women actually have the highest incidence rates when it comes to HPV-associated anal cancer at 2.5 per 100,000 individuals, but black men disproportionately have the lowest chances of survival compared to any other gender or race. Actually, when we compare the survival rates of white women versus black men using white women as a reference, black men are 1.62 times more likely to die of HPV-associated anal cancer than white women. The higher incidence rates of anal cancer in black men, in addition to the fact that they have the lowest survivability chances when diagnosed with HPV-associated cancer, is a issue of national concern that we need to look at. We also need to look at the barriers to having access to HPV anal cancer screenings for black men. Our purpose in making this presentation is to analyze the healthcare disparities that affect black men and how those disparities are affecting their access to HPV anal cancer screenings. And finally, to review the role of at-home self collection as a means to reduce harm in the community so that black men have more access to anal cancer screenings with high efficacy and sensitivity and specificity. The key barriers to black men's access to having health screenings for HPV-related anal cancer is multifactorial, including both political, social, cultural, and even economical barriers that black men have to face when it comes to prioritizing their own health. This is why offering at-home self-collection as an option to black men can really diminish some of those barriers, not all of them, but some of those barriers to significantly elevate the early detection of HPV-associated anal cancer in black men, which will lead to early intervention and which will lead to more survivability among black men. Compared to clinician collected samples, at-home self-collection has been shown to have pretty satisfactory sensitivity and specificity value. It's also important to analyze the samples via PCR HPV DNA instead of cytology because HPV DNA seems to have a higher efficacy and detection rate than pure cytology. There are multiple benefits to at-home self-collection which includes feelings of autonomy for black men, the ability to reduce their feelings of fear and empower black men to take health into their own hands and to diminish some of those social stigmas that black men have when it comes to going to the doctor and specifically having anal cancer and anal dysplasia screenings. Although at-home self-collection isn't the gold standard to the early detection of HPV anal cancer, it does allow for more people to have access to screening, which allows for earlier detection and earlier intervention. This is why we recommend clinicians to give the option of at-home self-collection to their patients. You don't have to just include at-home self-collection as the sole option, but it can be one of many options that a patient may feel comfortable with picking out for their own health needs. It's also incredibly important to have the instructions for at-home self-collection to be accessible and culturally diverse. We want graphics that resemble black men, that make black men feel like they are being represented when they are given the instructions for performing at-home self-collection. And we also want language accessibility, but also reading comprehension accessibility when it comes to detailed instructions on how to perform the at-home self-collection. We want written out instructions that anyone above the fifth grade level can read and understand and perform 
efficaciously so the samples that are collected by the at-home self-collection kits are high enough so that it will have high probability of early detection when it is being analyzed. And lastly, we really want to encourage black parents to get their children vaccinated with the HPV vaccine. We have a vaccine available for younger black youth that can lead to much earlier intervention and future prevention of anal cancer in general. Thank you all for watching this video. Special thanks to Morehouse School of Medicine and the Health Careers Opportunities Program at Morehouse for funding this research. I hope that you got something out of this video. I hope you learned something. I hope that you will share this information with someone who may benefit from it. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my activism work that I do beyond medical school. And I'll see you on the next video if you decide to stick around. This is Ben.